Hello, it's the Lego Detective, and I'm here with my sister. Hi. And to and today we were at the Lego store, and she got the Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase. And yesterday, my other sister Orly got the Gotham City Street Cycle Chase. And this is my sister Zohar here with me. Hi. And she got the set. And the only thing that I got was this uh, the old version of Batgirl as a keychain. But we're gonna be reviewing this set. It's from the Lego Batman movie. And it's one of those um, $20 deals where you get $20 with some really nice minifigures, right? Yeah. So we're going to start by looking at the minifigs. And just like some of the other reviews, we're also going to be doing some comparisons. Well, first of all, set number 70902. Throw that box aside. Move the minifigs aside. And this cat cycle, let's start off with Catwoman, the main villain in the set. So here's Catwoman. As you can see, she's in all the purple, and the, the the helmet got a bit offset. She's got the purple going on for her, and she has her whip, and she has the new mold secure uh, belt, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and she also maybe you didn't notice, but her zipper, the thing that she unzips it, is actually a cat. Yeah, that's I I actually did not notice that, but that's a really cool part. This is a new molded piece. And she looks kind of freaky under those, uh, under the helmet. And there's that. And there's not too much print to be missed, but I'm still going to allow you to see what that looks like under the belt. So, Zohar, what do you think about this Catwoman? Oh, she I also think has Cat a. Catwoman is a really cool and a unique character. Yeah. She also has side printing. And now we're just going to take a quick, um, a quick look at. A comparison between the 2006 Catwoman. I don't have the other one, but I have this one, and uh, it's it is very similar. But this one is in obviously all of the black. They both have second faces, but the original one um, has like the goggles on the one side, and then on the other side just the normal face. But Catwoman has the goggles on both sides of her face. So now we're going to move on to the Lego Batman movie variation of Robin. So he is based off of and heavily influenced by the 1966 Robin, which you watched part of the movie with me, yeah. right? Um, that was a great movie. That's probably the best movie I've seen in a yeah, while. Yeah, it's really good. Just and she didn't so even you know, finish it. To watch it. Yeah, she didn't even finish it though. Yeah. Um, because we she had to go to bed, but it was just amazing. We're gonna finish it some other time. But he has the really nice dual molded legs and arms, with two different colors of plastic, so he gets that really cool effect. And he has the shiny cape. And uh, does he have some back printing? I think he does. Yep. Let's see. He does. So there's his back printing that you can see there. And he also has some back face printing. You got the freckles. And then on the other side, there's his happy face. And there is a very big difference here, but we're just going to compare him to the original Robin from 2006. And as you can see in this one, he has brown hair, but the original one had black hair. And the original one actually had a mask. And the new one has um, like the goggles. Yeah, the glasses. And the only other main difference, other than like some small details, is the, legs. Is, um, the, the arm. Legs the, the yeah, the legs and the arms because he has short sleeves and then he just has like the boots right there. But um, this Robin was like longer on everything and also like the longer cape and also even longer on the hair because it sticks forward a bit but more. But now let's take a look at the Batgirl minifigure, which is a very, Wait. very cool Batgirl. So. Over here is Batgirl, and she has the shiny cape again. She is really cool because she has dual molded legs with printing and then printing on the side. She also has printing on the arms, which is really cool. She's got the printing on the chest, which not too much of that is blocked by the belt, but it's the same belt as Catwoman. She's got the two yellow batterings, and she's got the ponytail, which is actually a separate piece, so you can actually sort of like pose this, which I think that that's pretty cool. Taking that off, the face does look a bit funny, but that's just because it's purple, so that you can put that on, and here's what she looks like, like that. So, uh, Zohar, what do you think about this Batgirl mini? I think Catwoman, Batgirl, Batgirl, <laughs> looks really pretty, and I really like how she looks new, with the Batman cape, but just in yellow, and the hair that you can actually move. And the belt, oh my gosh, I just love that belt. Yeah. And uh, it is quite different than uh, the original one, because this one is purple. But I actually do like the purple, though um, I like the color of the hair. This I hair like is like a darker one. red, 
yeah but they're both very very good back row figures so no matter which one you have it's a pretty nice minifig but now we're going to move on to the cat cycle so here we have catwoman's motorcycle and um it was a pretty tricky experience for zohar right yeah it what was, was really hard zohar what was your favorite part about building the cat cycle my favorite part my favorite part was actually like um i can't really think okay so we have the purple light in the front. These wheels are very, very cool and purple. And we do have some printed pieces, which are very, very cool. Um, and my sister, Orly, actually also got this set. She was the one that did the review of the Gotham City Street Cycle Chase. And she actually had an extra, well, you get an extra in every set, of these printed pieces. And she actually put it on Deadshot's uh, little bazooka. And it created for some cool little detail. And over here, um, Catwoman is, is sitting down. And there is a bit of a printed piece right there with a bit of a gauge. And this seat down here is posable, which I think is pretty cool. You can sort of move it up a little bit and move it down. Um, so what do you think about the cat cycles, Zohar? I think it's very cool. Like the printed pieces, I really think those are cool. Yeah, but there are too. cooler things about it. Like the whole thing is really cool and unique. Agreed. So quickly, I'm going to do a comparison to the original Cat Cycle. And I'm just going to quickly put Catwoman on it. So as you can see, this one is a completely brick-built and actually Technic-built Cat Cycle, which I really like that there's a lot of Technic, and it's pretty cool. I just don't like the tan pieces sticking out. Yes. But this is just the, the big motorcycle cowling piece, and it's only a few pieces since this is like a big piece. And then you just add on these, and then you clip it on, you add in the wheels and the little stoppers. So... I feel like as a motorcycle, this is better, but as a set, this is better because you don't really build this too much, but this is a very complicated build and a very exciting and interesting build for Zohar to build. So yeah. anyway, now we're going to move on to the little diamond shop. So here is the last part of the set, the diamond shop, and I actually think that this impressed me in terms of yeah. even though I did not build this, it impressed me more than I thought it would. What about you? It's very cool. What, what's, what's your favorite part about it? My favorite part is the stickers. Yeah, well, you have a little help. Um, a lost cat, I would assume, like a picture of a cat right there. And then right here we have, like, the diamonds. And, and it's it actually goes. it's in the shape of a cat. Yeah. Here's the mouth yeah. and then the face with the ears and, and then, then the here are the whiskers. I think that's really cool. And um, there's a bit of a play feature here. It's not the co best play feature, but basically you can just bend this down and, and then also, it's like it if falls you didn't down see behind this there's actually a, a recycling banner oh yeah so that's pretty cool and then you have it's a small little shop with some little crystals or diamonds or whatever and it does have a clothes sticker which i don't really like that too much i would have liked if it was applied onto a little one by two tile and then you would stick that onto the doorknob but then you could take off that one by two tile when it gets opened i think that, that would have been cooler um, but maybe that could come in one of our modifications because Zohar is planning on making a bigger diamond shop and modifying yeah. this. So if he ever gets some more, the, the same set, we could put it together to make it an even bigger one. Which will two be very fine. So now um, we're going to go on to the final verdict. Okay, so in my opinion, so first of all, I did not build the set. Though I feel like this is a very, very good set. The Robin has some really nice pieces. I don't quite like the head and the hair, but I feel like the cape, the body, and the legs are very helpful. Um, and the body and the legs are very, very reminiscent of the 60s Batman, or the 60s Robin, um, which I feel is a very, very cool touch, so that if you don't have the big 1960s Batcave, you can kind of make your own custom Robin by swapping in some other Robin heads and hairs and stuff. I feel like the Batgirl's an amazing figure. The, the figures are just great in this set. And I feel like the two builds are very, very nice and substantial. What about you? I think the characters are amazing. And the real cool cat Batgirl, I like it because it's like purple. Yeah, me too. And it also has the same bat thingy, but just it's not in the circle. And it has the belt. Oh my gosh, the belt is so cool. Same with Catwoman, the belt is cool, the faces are cool, how you can swap them out, worry or not worry, happy or sad. And the cat cycle, it's cool, I really like it. I can really, like, absolutely really. 
Yeah, so, um... And then the diamond shop. I like how, like, the sign and this little help thingy and then the can. It's really cool. And then the two diamonds inside. Yeah, so, I, um, yeah, I agree with you on most of that. And I do quite like the, the like, the, how they change things up. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of that Robin's head. I know that some people will. I know that my little sister Shoshana is obsessed with that Robin. Yeah, she really wants a Robin. And um, I do quite like the purple Batgirl. And the Catwoman is a nice um, surprise with all the new molded pieces like the belt and the new Catwoman helmet, which is different from the older version. But anyway, thanks for watching our review on the Lego Batman movie, Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye! Bye!